Her complete sentence is, she stopped touching my record, but there you are. <laughs> See, uh, that song started act two of another Gable and Stein show, The Enchanted Nightingale, a degrading piece of chinoiserie about a Chinese emperor who, who's told by a magic bird to marry his American elocutionist instead of his betrothed, and he winds up building the Great Wall of China. <laughs> a slap in the face of 4,000 years of Chinese history, I know, but, but it had some wonderful tunes. <laughs> Oh, oh, did you notice Beatrice Stoffa as American Lady? A and Roman Bartelli as the Emperor? Yes, he was a man of a thousand accents. All of them insulting. <laughs> <laughs> Act two of the drowsy chaperone begins with this. A haunting lament from a very depressed bride. She sings it high up in her balcony, bathed in the pale blue light of a sympathetic mood. Which is ridiculous, because it's the middle of the day. <laughs> now, while you're listening to this, try to ignore the lyrics. I, I know it'll be difficult, but block them out, they're not the best. But, but the tune is beautiful when it truly communicates a bright state of mind. Just ignore the lyrics. <laughs> I put a monkey on a pedestal and try to make them
good all. <laughs> hey, hey, that's another thing I love about musicals in general. When some just set it, they sing and they dance, which is so much more interesting than just whining about it. <laughs> but, but I guess it's just the glory of musical theater, really. It's so much better. <laughs> Shall I have the things removed now, Madam, or would you prefer I wait until the morning? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stop the record here because I don't want this scene interrupted by a ringing telephone. Okay, so here we have two vaudeville performers who have slipped through the cracks of time. They are Noel Fitzpatrick and Ukulele Lil. Um, I really don't know anything about them. Um, I assume Ukulele Lil played the ukulele, though she doesn't in this show. I mean, I looked through all of my books and I even tried the internet, but all of my searches wound up with Tiny Tim's autopsy photographs. <laughs> well, anyway, they're both charming! <laughs> Why would you have the pews removed? The bride has called off the wedding, madam. Oh, underly. Never listen to a bride on her wedding day. Love is a very complex emotion, Utterly. You see, you can be very close to someone one minute, and, well, the next minute, why you just want to strangle them? <laughs> Do you understand? I'm familiar with the urge to strangle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, madam. <laughs> you see, that's just the nature of love. Love makes lovers worry. Love makes lovers fret. But here's a fact of which we can depend. Just like long ago when Romeo loved Juliet, love is always lovely in the end. Might I remind you, madam, that Romeo and Juliet was a tragedy? Oh, I never read reviews. <laughs> love can start a quarrel, love can cause a din. But love has always been a trusty friend. Was a happy thing for hate the hate and So, I guess I just wanted to say that for the benefit of the younger people. 
I won't interrupt anymore, I promise. But, but there's a moment coming up that I've become obsessed with. <laughs> You can't go to the wedding looking like that. Oh, you poor dear. Haven't you heard? The wedding's been called off. Not your wedding. Mine. Oh, that reminds me. Might I borrow your veil? You're getting married? That's a home. Me look for lady. Battle expression. You're very 